Racism 2020, a mulatto gangster perspective. Me and Shorty are one. Vincent Amos. I'm going to kick some Willy Bobo with you about don't talk to me about racism. I am a mulatto. German mom, black dad. I was born and raised in the South Bronx and then South Jamaica, Queens. I caught racism from both sides. I was a nigger and a Nazi at the same time. And now I just don't care about racism. At almost 75 years old, September 3rd, I know that now there are more important things to me than racism. 5G technology, for instance, strong borders, health care, and the infrastructure, and China, my youngest daughter, China, but mostly the country, China etc., etc., etc. Having been a registered Democrat and a registered Republican about 20 years for each, I am now registered as no party affiliation. Like Brother Malcolm used to say, there are Democrats and Dixiecrats. I was sold on the Donald when he did the woman ice skating rink thing. I probably read all of his books. I admire his style. And I absolutely do not believe that he is a racist. Of course, he says and does a lot of racist bullshit. But I am confident that that is just his campaign strategy. And boy, it is working. Look at how much of the conversation is now being spent on the topic of racism. To the exclusion of just about everything else. By election day. He's going to have all of the Democrats with their heads stuck so far up their asses that you won't be able to find them with radar, sonar, and or laser beams. Trump has got your asses bent so far out of shape. Shame on you, Democrats. Falling for that okey doke, flim flam, hoodwink shit. Trump is playing all of you like a piano. Republicans and Democrats alike are acting worse than little children playing in the sandbox, talking about, Mommy, he's looking at me. I would be laughing my ass off watching this childish partisan bullshit. But I have progeny who will be suffering from this shit. Donald Trump is the only Republican that I have ever voted for. And now, being half German, I am really concerned about his behavior and his actions vis-a-vis -vis Adolf Hitler. But he is definitely the strong leader that I believe America needs at the helm now in this very dangerous world that surrounds us. And I will vote for him again in 2020 if I don't see strength 
in the Democratic candidates who all obsequious sycophantic Casper Milk toast that they are appear to want to give away the whole fucking store to everybody. Other than for president, I will vote straight Democratic all the way. We are Americans. We are only 5% of the world's population. Let's keep it that way, at least for the foreseeable future. Honorable AOC, you go, girl, representing the boogie down gangster style. Oh, yeah. You really want to see my blog intro at exodus2.org forward slash blog because it is 23 minutes of the baddest ass gangster shit you have ever heard of. Everything that I say is a matter of public record. This video is raw and unedited. Or you can see it on YouTube at blah, 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 blah. Vincent Amos, my shorties, shorties.